as of today, a bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. Federal government institutions will have a new broad authority to share relevant information with banks and other financial service providers. We are broadening the scope of Canada's anti-money laundering and terrorist financing rules so that they cover crowdfunding platforms and the payment service providers they use. These changes cover all forms of transactions, including digital assets, such as cryptocurrencies. Our banks and financial institutions are already obligated to report to the Financial Transactions and Reports Analysis Centre of Canada, or FinTrack. As of today, all crowdfunding platforms and the payment service providers they use must register with FinTrack and they must report large and suspicious transactions to FinTrack. The illegal blockades have highlighted the fact that crowdfunding platforms and some of the payment service providers they use are not fully captured under the Proceeds of Crime and Terrorist Financing Act. This is about following the money. This is about stopping the financing of these illegal blockades. If your truck is being used in these illegal blockades, your corporate accounts will be frozen. The insurance on your vehicle will be suspended. The Canadian economy needs them to be doing legitimate work, not to be illegally making us all poorer. The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act to supplement provincial and territorial capacity to address the blockades and occupations. The police will be given more tools to restore order in places where public assemblies can constitute illegal and dangerous activities. These tools include strengthening their ability to impose fines or imprisonment. We'll always defend the rights of Canadians to peaceful assembly and to freedom of expression, but these blockades are illegal, and if you're still participating, the time to go home is now.